Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Mike, you've been tracking all things Barry for a few days mm -hmm. now, and it looks like a bit of good news coming out of the Gulf. Yeah, it's uh, still uh, churning down there. It's moving only about four miles per hour. But again, the National Hurricane Center is still forecasting it to make landfall as a tropical storm at 70 miles per hour. Right. Still, needs, that's pretty big. Yeah, it is. It needs to get to 74 to be a hurricane. It's only four miles per hour. So again, a lot can change, and a lot does change, as you know. You're right. very familiar down there working in that Louisiana with these hurricanes. They can get strong and weak and strong and weak, and right now it's on the weak side for the most part. Right. It's still out there, and it's a big rain event. Yeah, big rain event right now. Some very, very uh, strong thunderstorms out ahead of it, but that's the current movement. Matter of fact, it has even slowed down a little bit more, moving out to the west around three miles per hour at this time. So it's not moving very fast. The water's still very warm. It just doesn't have a lot of push aloft to get the. Uh, cyclone to actually move and it basically is spinning at 45 miles per hour. Now it needs to get to 74 to be classified as a hurricane and uh, the very latest, this is the track now from the National Hurricane Center as I put this into motion for you, it gets it very close to the south and maybe south the eastern part there of Louisiana very early in the morning, about 1 a.m. Saturday morning, making landfall at 70 miles per hour. So that's still a tropical storm, but still very, very strong. Uh, all the folks down in Louisiana know what's going on. They've got all kinds of warnings out there. Matter of fact, their hurricane warnings are in effect for those areas, not to mention watching flood warnings go out as well because of all the high waters from the Mississippi River. But watch where it goes. It goes up to the north, kind of falls apart. As expected, over landfall, it loses its energy and takes it uh, just to the south and east of St. Louis. There, you can see that's going to be uh, early uh, next week. But you notice here in East Texas, not seeing much. There could be a few sprinkles here and there off to the east of us, but generally speaking, we may just see some clouds, and that's generally about it from Barry. Right now, though, we are still seeing some heat. It is 84 degrees in Waco, as well as Mahia, 85 Temple, 86 right now in Colleen, and our humidity, it's out there right now. Our Heat index down in Hearn jumps to 90 degrees. So here's what I expect overnight tonight. Clear skies right now, maybe a few clouds drifting in in the morning, and there's that stationary front kind of parked off to our north, about 73 degrees or so by the morning hour. So we'll see some clouds to start today, and as we go throughout the day, more sunshine. Looks good for your Friday night. So if you do have plans for Friday night, Try to stay cool, but we're looking good with temperatures in the mid-90s. And you'll notice what will start to happen here overnight Friday into Saturday. A few more clouds start to roll in. And again, remember that spin we were talking about there from Barry. Watch what happens here as we uh, start at 7 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Here come the spiral bands of some clouds starting to move in. These are some high clouds. Our chances of rain, and this is on Saturday, are very, very slim. I'd say probably less than a 10% chance here. A little better chance the farther back off to the east you go, but generally speaking, it does appear that most of the heavy rainfall will be just to the east of Texas into Louisiana. And again, the farther off to the west you go by Saturday, nothing but sunshine and temperatures in the 90s. As for tonight, though, partly to mostly clear skies, a very quiet night. Low temperatures fall to around 75 degrees. And then tomorrow, partly sunny skies in the morning, breaking out to mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. About 96 degrees the high, but you factor in the humidity. I do think we'll make it feel very close to 100 degrees from time to time here in our area. And then as we look ahead, a hot and dry weekend. Right now, Saturday, just a 10% chance of rain, so I didn't even throw it on there. 96 degrees. Again, about a 10% chance. Otherwise, a few more clouds from Barry on Sunday, 96 degrees. 98 on Monday, and then look at the heat returns right on top of us. 99 to 100 degrees for high temperatures Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Nighttime lows will be in the mid-70s. and over toward Bryan and College Station, there's the slight chances of rain. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and that's because of Barry. You get better chances the farther east you go. Temperatures a little bit cooler in the low 90s. And then by Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the big dome of high pressure, that big ridge, we call it the Omega Block, right on top of us that sets up our summertime pattern here in Texas with temperatures in the upper 90s and hardly a drop of rain with those nighttime lows in the mid to upper 70s.